Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to see the person on your mind, what's going on with you and the connection with your person. Keep in mind it is a collective, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Let's see what is going on for the collective and their person. What is the energy for the collective and their person? What do they need to know? What is happening in their current situation? Let's see what your energy is first, collective. Pop-up. Spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. So are you hoping that your person's just going to pop up and come see you? That they're going to unexpectedly surprise you? Let's see what your person's energy is. Telepathic dreams and songs, alien, and lockdown, mental prison confined. So your person is caught up in their head right now. They're feeling restricted. They're feeling confined with the situation between the two of you. What's the challenge here between the collective and their person? Poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people. Tell me more. Spiritual path, awakening, and ascension. And one more. Oh, access granted social media fake profile hiding. Okay, so it feels like your person is feeling restricted when it comes to the situation between the two of you. Maybe there's no communication. There could have been somebody online that interjected between the two of you. Somebody who was third party energy clearly is heavy here. Somebody who was pretending to be somebody that they were not. And that interjected between you and your person, which has in turn caused some type of breakup, some type of breakdown in the connection. You could be going through some type of spiritual awakening. And your person is still maybe potentially dealing with this unhealthy person or this unhealthy individual. Even though you still want this person, there's clearly some type of you're being on different pages here. Why is lockdown here in the person's energy? Why are they feeling confined? Projected future days and weeks. Okay, so this person is projecting what actually happened. They're not wanting to accept the reality. Did your person get like catfished or something and you called this person out? Maybe this person, did you set up a trap for your person? Did you pretend to be somebody to see if your person would take the bait and cheat on you? And they did. Because now this person is projecting. They're in an energy of feeling like they're confined and they're stuck because of the choices they made. Karmic relationship and lesson. So this was actually something that was supposed to happen to your person. Your person was being tested. Whether it was you who was trying to pretend to be somebody else or it was somebody else, this was a test of trust and faith and loyalty and your person didn't pass it. And that's the lesson that they're learning right now. They're learning that they allowed third party interference to come between the two of you. And now they feel like they're stuck or they're confined because they maybe are embarrassed of what happened. Yeah, look at that. Closed in, trapped and frustrated with the circumstances that they've created themselves. Maybe you broke up with this person and you started to move on, but you still deep down hope that this person will come back and maybe beg for you to return or um, try to get back together because you are in this spontaneous pop-up energy. This is definitely something unexpected. My ears are ringing, so you definitely have been talking a lot about this situation and why this maybe happened. There are others involved here. So it feels like your person got caught up in something that was supposed to be a test and they didn't pass the test. And now they feel stuck because of it because they don't have you and maybe you've tried to bring it up to them and they're just projecting. Tell me more. Why is poison here? What is this unhealthy behavior or people, this karmic lesson this person was supposed to go through? 
silence and non-action. They were supposed to not take the bait, but they did. Okay, tell me about the spiritual awakening. You're awoken to this connection, but this person is not yet. Yep, they're in denial. They're definitely in denial, not wanting to face the truth of what happened. Tell me about access granted. Why is access granted here? Triggered. Name, car, place. This was a trigger that was supposed to happen for your person. They were supposed to deny this third party energy that came towards them. This test by spirit, by the universe, to test your person's loyalty and faith to you. And they didn't pass the test. Why is projected here? Children, young childhood playful so your person could be acting very immature acting innocent acting like it didn't happen but they know that it did happen tell me about karmic why is karmic here interlude pause timing factor and bounty hunter chaser and pursuit so they maybe are saying this person pursued them was chasing them they're really projecting this karmic situation. Tell me about lockbox. They're feeling frustrated with what has happened. Your person thought that this person that came towards them maybe was a soulmate, that it was somebody that they were supposed to be friends with, and there was supposed to be some type of benefit of this person talking to this person, is what their intuition they thought was telling them. But really, they were missing the boat on realizing that was not what was supposed to happen. This person was supposed to be tested. Their loyalty was being tested in their relationship with you, and they didn't pass the loyalty test. That's why they're feeling frustrated and confined with what happened. They could have, um, they could be alienating themselves from you. They could be distancing themselves because they're embarrassed about what happened. They don't want to admit it. They're kind of in denial. But this definitely triggered this person. But it was meant to trigger them. It was meant for your person to learn a lesson of loyalty. Their faith was supposed to be tested. So let's see, what do you want from your person? Because you're in this spontaneous surprise visit, pop-up energy. Are you wanting your person to return? Like, what does the collective want from their person? Okay. The Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Swords. You want this person to return. You want to try to let go of all the hurt and pain that has happened because of what they've done. And you want this person to come in really quickly and be very direct with what they're going to say because you are expecting this person to just show up. We've got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. You could live at a distance from each other, but you do expect this person to come towards you and you do expect them to explain themselves. So what does your person want? Okay, they're still stuck in their head. Eight of swords, king of wands, and two of pentacles in reverse. They're realizing they didn't make the situation with you a priority. And they're really caught up in their head of what do they do now. Look at this. We've got the ten, or I'm sorry, the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. So they're feeling a little bit hopeless. They have insomnia. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They can't focus on work. They know that they really messed up. They didn't pass the test the universe gave them the test of their faith and their loyalty to you. What's gonna happen between the collective and their person? The chariot, the emperor, and the devil. Why is the devil here? Six of pentacles, three of swords, and the hermit. I've got the death card at the bottom of the deck too. You know, your person's just going to be able to move forward 
because they're still attached to the negative. They may feel like you planted the situation and maybe you did, maybe you did try to catfish your person to test them. They feel like that is a negative trait and they're, they've are they thought long and hard about it, but because of that, they feel like what has happened, they really can't come towards you. They feel like maybe that they need to just accept that it's over, that they didn't pass the test. It's almost like they're too embarrassed to return to accept accountability for what they've done. Yeah, there's that tower in reverse. They're not changing anything in the current circumstances right now. So let's get some hidden truth messages of what your person is thinking or feeling. The collective in this circumstance, in this situation, this very specific situation, what is their person's hidden truth? What is their feelings right now? I love you. I need security. I feel so drawn to you. I don't want to know. I know you don't share. I know you don't feel the same. Now, hidden at the bottom of the deck, we have, I want to tell you how I feel. So even though they're embarrassed, they're caught up in their head, they don't really want to tell you. They know they messed up. They know that this was a fault of their own, not on your fault. Let's get an angel number. Zero eight zero eight. swift action. You will enter a time of expansion, so begin taking steps towards achieving your ultimate objective immediately. Your finances are also going to improve at this time. Somebody has their mind set on you. Your channeled song is It Matters to Me by Faith Hill. And let's get some advice. What is the advice for the collective at this time? Abundance, you need to focus on your money. Make that your priority. You're about to receive a major miracle and you need to speak up about what it is that you want when it comes to the universe and believe once you focus on what it is that you want, there is going to be a miracle that's gonna happen for you. So if you're potentially wanting reconciliation with this person, if you believe it and you heal from it, that could be something you're focused on speaking to the universe, that's what you want. If you're done with this person and you've accepted that it is over, but you are still kind of in your ego, wanting them to come back and crawl and beg for you back, it does feel like there could be an abundant energy of that happening in the future. But universe says you need to focus on your healing right now, Speak to the universe exactly what you want so that you can receive it in the future. Okay, that is what I have for you, Collective. I do want to thank you for watching this video. If you could please like and comment, I would appreciate it. If you do want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Have a great day. Bye.